In a bid to put the Egyptian capital Cairo on the contemporary cultural map, organizers from Egypt and Europe have arranged the first major arts festival since the ouster of President Hosni Mubarak last February. In the past, before the revolution, the main festivals in Egypt were all organized by the government, by the Ministry of Culture or other bo government bodies. And uh, it was more a propaganda tool rather than an artistic, uh, uh, you know, a way of, of creating an artistic event. And therefore, these festivals never really work. The headquarters of Downtown Contemporary Arts Festival are merely a short walk from the epicenter of last year's revolution, Tahrir Square. Atar says that this event will be different from past attempts. And one of the main problems they had is they had no uh, programming. So in, in this festival, we have decided, like all festivals, to have programmers. So I program the performing arts because that's my field. And uh, Mahmoud Rifat programmed the, the music uh, program. And Mia Jankovic uh, programmed the visual arts program. And they're both, this is, what, this is their field. So that's, that's, that's a, that was a, an important decision to make from the beginning. The aim of the organizers is to set new standards in freedom of expression, especially in light of growing concerns over censorship and the presence of the new Islamist-led government. Uh, I also think that uh, now is a very important time to put landmarks in, in Egypt. Uh, we have an uncertain political future. Uh, people are worried of what might come. It could be, uh, some people are worried that it will be a very obscure time to come. We don't know. And I think now is the time to put down certain landmarks that if things get worse, at least, you know, we've started something. Aside from radio theater serving as headquarters, there are 15 other venues which will showcase visual arts, modern dance and theater and many more performances. Curators of the event are hoping to expand the audience's horizons by introducing them to performers from other parts of the globe and to less mainstream forms of art such as experimental dance as demonstrated in the piece titled We Are Not From Outer Space. According to organizers of this piece who hail from Egypt, Portugal and Germany, the dance transcends cultural, linguistic and geographic borders to portray united sentiments of doubt in political and economic systems. When the artists got together to discuss themes of identity and humanity, it was difficult to avoid politics in an Egyptian context, says performer and choreographer Mohamed Abdel Shafiq. Because you say from the ring, you are also different, you are from different places. So I tried to figure out my, my ident identity. But finally, I found my, my identity, it's lost. So Egypt, it's lost. This is what I can say. The shows performed at DCAF are unique, and organizers will simply tweak as they ensue, rather than change the essence of the project. The creators say the piece would take a life of its own. DCAF boasts 150 local and international talent and will run until April 14. Nora Faraj, Al Arabiya.